Good morning. It is quarter past five in the morning and I am making my way to the city for my uh, day seven ultrasound and blood test just to see what's going on with my ovaries. Uh, yesterday I did a video where I mentioned that my estri le estrogen levels are slightly lower than the doctor would wish. So we're just having a look at what's going on and I am full of hope that I have lots of little follicles there that are yet yet uh, to grow and to bloom so um, and that will come we just need to give them some time uh, last night I didn't take a video of my injection why because well I thought it's not really anything new to report it's just another injection however I probably should have taken a video because Corey sat I did this one just out in the lounge room and Corey sat me sat with me on with this one and he is a type 1 diabetic and has been since the age of 12. So up until he got his pump just recently in the last, I don't know, six, six, seven, eight years, he was injecting up to seven times a day insulin. Just, I mean, that's what keeps him alive. So to him, the injections are fairly uh, routine for him. And he was sharing with me that they still hurt occasionally sometimes he'll still get a spot that's like a bit tender and it was really nice to have that conversation with him and to just have him there without cracking jokes but actually there and yeah um, it was really nice but that's another one done another one down the hatch I have um, no side effects really so far I have a bit of bloating or let's be honest, I have a lot of bloating and I have like a tiny bit of uncomfortable pain, but I feel like it's mostly from the injections more than anything else. I feel like, yeah, there's, it, it's still a bit tender from the injections as opposed to whatever my body's doing with the, with the hormones. And um, besides that, nothing really else going on so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing I mean I'm grateful but I don't know if that means that the meds aren't doing their job or what's going on but anyhow I'm really looking forward to my ultrasound today and I'm hoping they're going to let me film it so uh, keep your fingers crossed